Hey fam. So this is going to be a follow-up video to that video about my habit tracker for September 2016. Where I just try to form habits and do some things every single day. I failed, I'm gonna be honest. Um, it started off great, but then it went downhill. So it started off great, but then college happened and it became increasingly difficult to do the things, and you can just see it go downhill. I did not form the habits that I wanted to form, but I am still proud of myself for trying this new thing. So what else happened in September 2016? I'm gonna give you a recap of some stuff that's been happening in my life. So I'm finally getting the hang of college, but it's getting really stressful. Um, it's all, the assignments are all starting to pile up and it's getting kind of stressful. But I'm doing what I need to do to stay on top of things and get the help that I need. I had this really bad thing with coffee. Um, my college has this little coffee shop inside the college and um, so I decided to get a coffee every morning and I fell in love with espresso. It just tastes so darn good. And um, I had a caffeine issue. Um, as soon as I got home from school, I couldn't calm down. I was hyper, I was anxious, I didn't like it. So that happened, that was unpleasant. Um, but I decided to still get coffee every morning, but replace espresso with decaf. So that's a thing as of right now. Other than that, everything's going great. I made some new friends. I'm doing a great job at my library job. I have a job at the library where I just sit at the circulation desk and someone says, I would like to borrow a laptop or this book that's on reserve for my course. And I just say, sure, and scan their card and scan the book and say it's due in two hours. And uh, that's my job. And I love it. I love seeing new people. I've made friends with the people at the desk next to me. And uh, it's going great. Not to mention that I can just uh, sit there and do my homework. And if someone asks for something, I'll do it for them. But I basically get paid to sit at the desk and chill and do homework. And it's great. I've joined some clubs. I am currently in music club and piano club. Piano club is where we just learn how to play piano. Music Club is, right now we're working on a project that's an acapella song. We're singing a song by Pentatonix, which is a acapella group. And uh, it's really great to be surrounded by people who sing as much as I do and love music as much as I do. That's, that's really great to make friends like that. I started watching Stranger Things, that show on Netflix that's trending. It's cool, it's really cool. I really enjoyed it. Um, I finished the first season, which is eight episodes. I finished it, and uh, yeah, I think I would recommend it. So if you have Netflix, go check out Stranger Things. On a more sad note, sorry, you can skip this if you, this is gonna bother you, but um, my dog, Daisy, we had to put her to sleep. Um, she turned 15 on September 27th, and we celebrated her birthday, but we knew it was time for her to go, so, um, on the 29th in the morning, we had to say goodbye to her, and that was rough for me. Um, I couldn't be there with her when they, when my father and my brother took her to the vet. Um, I just, before we went to school, I just spent time with her and ate breakfast with her and I just said goodbye to her and said, you know, thank you for a lovely 15 years. You've been a great dog and, you know, just wish her luck on wherever she's going after this. We don't know um, if there's a heaven for dogs. Um, I like to believe that there is. I believe in that rainbow bridge thing. So yeah, that was rough. Um, but it was for the best. She was in pain. She was old. She couldn't do things anymore. Her quality of life went way down real fast, and it was for the best. Okay, sorry. Yeah, um, yeah, that was, that was rough. <laughs> On a happier note, I went to some concerts. This September, I went to see Run River North. Robert DeLong and Made Violent. You guys might have heard of Robert DeLong. He's on the radio. He's got that song, On the Long Way Down, and his other song that's pretty popular is Don't Wait Up. I'd never seen him in person before, so I didn't know um, what his whole concert thing was like. What he does is he's got this um, 
pad of dials and uh, like a piano and stuff and what he does is it's all pre-programmed but he pushes the buttons and alters his voice and kind of does it on the spot kind of like Ed Sheeran but it's way more involved it looks like he's got a lot to do and it's he's just he's got a drum kit over here and a drum kit over there and he just takes the microphone with him and hits the drums over there and, and he stands with the microphone and turns the dials and pushes the buttons while he's singing and it's very involved and very active and he was just running all over the place and it was really cool to see. The other band that was there was Run River North, which um, I kind of heard of them, but I'd never seen them live once again. And I absolutely loved their song called Beetle, I think it was called. Um, there's like, I don't know, six people on the stage at once, and it starts out with this violin, this girl on violin, she was amazing. She starts out with this beautiful thing on violin, and then everyone comes in and does their thing. And at one point, they kind of, it looked like they were spreading apart and kind of doing their own thing, but it, it made sense. They were just kind of jamming on their own, it kind of sounded like, and then they came back together, and it was such a beautiful sight. I teared up a little bit, I'm gonna be honest, it made me cry. And the opening act was Made Violent, which they were very talented. The drummer was amazing, I loved watching him drum. I couldn't really hear what they were saying, but um, it sounded really good. I talked to the singer of Run River North after the concert, he was sitting outside, and I just told him how much I loved that performance of Beetle, that was very good. Another thing that I did this September is I made bumper magnets for Cellox, that product that stops bleeding. They look like that. I designed them myself. I ordered about 10 of these and gave them out to my friends who would be willing to put these on their car to um, spread the word about Cellox because it's a very important product. And it's not a sticker, it's a magnet, so um, it won't really damage the paint on the car, so... And the last thing that I did this September is I finished my EP of five songs that I wrote. There was one song that I couldn't finish, it was really... I was really struggling to finish it, and um, my best friend Chelsea came over and helped me out, and right now I have finished writing all five songs, so we're just gonna work on getting them copyrighted and then we can move into the studio and record. So yeah, that's a little recap of September 2016 for you. Leave a comment down below and let me know how your September was. I hope you had a good September and uh, I hope school is going good for you if you are a student. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.